when did Adam CTO get started? So I guess the if you look at what we do, we've been doing it since 2010, right? Okay. So myself and Sam, who essentially co-founded this business, you know, we worked together in Norway. Sorry, we didn't. We never worked together actually in Norway, but we met in Norway, in a small town in uh, south of Norway called Kristiansand. And he was working for a, a company there. I was CTO for a business there, and just two English people in a small town meet in the pub, right? And um, and quickly we realised, you know, there's a good tech community there. There's a lot of people that we can help with our knowledge and experience. So we just started doing that on the side. You know, we we work on the evenings, weekends, go and go to the incubator and, and start giving our, our tech advice. And you know, we found very consistent issues right firstly mm-hmm. that they were getting very poor advice they would develop it the developers weren't developing what they wanted what they were ended up getting wasn't what they um paid for uh, also those businesses those tech that tech couldn't scale there was no governance maintainability there was no you know uh no one was really looking after the the issues bugs maintenance right what, what happens when you get problems yeah. how do you deal with that and there's a whole bunch of stuff that we were doing, not just on a technical basis, but it's around contracts, right? So how do you define good SLAs, service level agreements? How do you define, you know, what should you be expecting to get out of your, uh, of the people that are developing? You know, how do you pose, like, how do you pose the, the requirements to them in a way that they can understand? Uh, how do you test the deliveries coming back to you? Commercials, how are you agreeing your commercial contracts? What warranties and, you know, it, there's a whole bunch of stuff around it that isn't just tech. It's yeah, it's the, the legals and the and the compliance and the governance, right? Yeah. So we found that we were doing that. And then, you know, Sam and I ended up working together at Aztec in 2013, I guess. Um, and then we kind of, because we we're very busy with that, did less of it, but we still did a fair amount of it. Um, and then in 2018, we were kind of sitting together saying well we've done this on the side for many years why don't we just do this as a business because the need is out there it hasn't changed in 10 years that we've been doing it the the, the issues seem to always be the same um you know there are uh, with the with the kind of focus on entrepreneurs and that and that growth that you saw like this huge spout spike in business small businesses starting up after the after the financial crash what you saw was a huge economy growing up around entrepreneurship, right? And people who were entrepreneurship experts and business advisors that suddenly popped up and coaches. No one was doing it in the tech space. Like there's no one in the tech space concentrating solely on giving small businesses and startups the right tech advice at the very beginning. And again, we were fortunate. Sam's one of the best technologies I've ever come across. And, you know, I've got deep experience working in large businesses with IBM, big telcos, um, then working at startups that we're, we've kind of gone, we launched globally and scaled globally, uh, working at businesses. You know, I've been myself, I've started businesses, right? With other, like, in Norway, we, we went out and we started a new business in Denmark with, you know, logistics in Germany, right? We went out there. So, you know, very unusual combination of technology and business, which a lot of people don't have. They're either one or the other, right? And we've got yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and so we can, we feel that we can help in a much more practical level. Uh, than a lot of other tech advisors would be able to. And that's the very unique thing about about Atom and Atom CTO is your combination of work within the industry, work on the business side of the industry, the tech expertise of the industry. You're not just one of those. You've you've lived it, you've learned it, you've applied it, you've worked within, like I said, the business side of of, um, of business and the technology side of business. So. Somebody who's coming to you who, like I said, has, you know, ever since the, the last recession sort of been encouraged to or jumped on the opportunity to kind of go, I've got my idea, I'm going to create a business. And then suddenly realizes I'm an idea person, I'm not necessarily a business person. And now I'm in a space where my idea, which is now a business, is heavily tech dependent. Who do I turn to? And so Atom offers, I guess, a lot of, a lot of value in that perspective. 